Hey everyone, welcome to Post of Post. Thanks for joining me today. We're doing some GeoGuessr. I've got the goat here, aka hey. Brent, aka my dad. Welcome back in person. It's been a long time. It's good to be back. I guess it's not been that long. It's been April the last time that we filmed together, but it's been a long time since you've been here in the studio. In the real Post of Post headquarters. Yeah, and it's been a long time since we've done GeoGuessr, probably more than a year. I'd say. Maybe two years in person. But we're going to do some GeoGuessr for you. We're actually going to film a bunch of videos right now, all, all GeoGuessr for you. And uh, those will release over the next couple of weeks. So if you're interested in GeoGuessr, um, we'd love to have you on board. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. Uh, catch all these ones. We're going to do multiple ones, maybe U.S., Canada, World, all the good stuff. We're going to have a lot of fun. We'd love to have you on board so you can play along. So uh, what would you like to do? I, we didn't discuss this beforehand. but Well, uh, I've, I'm a little rusty, and I watched your GeoGuessr not too long ago. You're a little <laughs> rusty, too. <laughs> I got that one good guess, though. <laughs> it was very good. It was Canada, if you haven't seen that video. Yeah. But, um, um, I'm, I, I think we should start easy and work our way up. What, what's easy? Is Canada easy? Because I don't do well in Canada usually. I don't know. Let, let's try Canada. You, okay, let's do it. We should. We're Canadian. We should so. do well. We're Canadian. Let's, uh, let's, let's do it. Let's see if we can beat my score, actually. Alrighty. Okay. Hmm. And the, our screen is off to... Our left, so yeah. we're gonna be looking this way. Yeah. Immediately, like a East Coast vibes, but actually, the more I look at it, I feel like this is very. Oh, Winnipeg. here we go. <clears throat> I feel Manitoba for some reason. For Do this. you? Yeah, I don't know why. I wish there was a phone number there. Yeah, how do you not have your phone number on there? Come on. How do you expect people to get a hold of you, Herschel? Now, the color of that license plate. I see it's a blue. There's a little blue. I'm thinking British Columbia. This could be British Columbia, yeah. Because when you turn around and look up the alley, <clears throat> it has that, I think. So you think this is maybe. Okay. I think this is mainland BC. Let me look at the age of the cars. That'll tell us something as well. See how many rust. Yeah, they don't use salt there, so. Mm. Typically, people drive their cars uh, longer in British Columbia versus the East Coast here where we live where it's almost a rarity to see a vehicle that's uh, 10 years older or more. Yeah. Uh, look at that. Yeah. That's interesting. Tall structure there. <sighs> Does Victoria have... I mean, they've got buildings that big, but... Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's a little an, high, though, for Victoria. That's an apartment building or something, yeah. Yeah, it's a, or it could even be a hospital. Just look at this be around Vancouver? I'm thinking it could be around Vancouver. Or... Not that far. Like North Vancouver, for instance, might be like that away from the from the water. Because mm. um, it looks a little older. You know, it's not, you know, we're talking construction here probably in the 60s and 70s for some of these places. Mm. So. It looks, uh, it looks dank. It looks very moist, which is. Uh, <laughs> Many people's favorite word. Yeah, indicative of British Columbia, actually. Yeah. It's basically a rainforest almost. Yeah. I'm okay with your, with your uh, insight there. All right. Let's do it. Maybe a little bit north of Vancouver. Yeah, just like North Vancouver is just across the water there. So you see North Vancouver, West Vancouver. Could be in that area. It could be anywhere. It could be Prince George. It could be Kamloops. It could be now, all kinds of places. Are there tall buildings on this side? Not nearly as tall. There are, there's a few like near the waterfront. But if we were up in Lonsdale, for instance, an area like that, which is quite residential, might be okay there. Pemberton Heights, we see. Uh, I really don't know. I've been I've been to North Vancouver, but only along the coast there, where they have the the farmers market and stuff. So, all right. Well, that looks kind of cityscape there. So I don't think it's residential. We're up, we're in a clear residential area that's in view of some taller buildings. So, yeah, something like, like that. Like this maybe. And notice that see where it says Legacy House Renovations. Yeah. You see a street running between Gordon Avenue and Fulton Avenue. That could be an alleyway like this. That's here. true. So. Yeah, let's do close to this connecting road because there's one right there. Yeah. It's not it. This Wouldn't that be it. funny? Definitely not it, but... Hey! He, not bad. Not bad. Over not in... Not bad. Eastburn, New yeah. Westminster. So we're still in the Vancouver metropolitan area. We're down closer to the airport in uh, in New Westminster. That's so. a win in my books. I think that's like a that's, hard win. Uh, for, for the hardcore GeoGuessr players who spend hours trying to find the exact location, obviously this is a loss, but for us, a bunch of noobs, that's a win. 21 kilometers in a country that's seven or 8,000 kilometers from one end to the other? <laughs> yeah. I think we'll do. Yeah, we'll take that. We'll take it. Next round. Okay. Whoa. Oh, this is very helpful. This could be anywhere in Canada. Yeah. Maybe. 
I do get East Coast vibes, though. I do, too. Oh, what's that Applewood Apple Farm? Applewood Farm. Hmm. That doesn't tell us much. I don't see a phone number or any other kind of... No. No. That doesn't wow. tell us much. This will be very hard. Yeah, this could be Quebec. This could be... Likely not Quebec. I don't think so. Because that sign would be illegal. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah. I guess I was talking okay. more about the terrain and stuff. It would be ferm de pomme. Uh, this could be Ontario, for sure. It definitely could be Ontario. It probably is Ontario. Yeah. And notice that there's not a lot of tall trees I here. was going to say that. The tree line's a little bit short. Yeah. And I don't see any coniferous, hardly. It's all deciduous trees. So and there's a little, there's a couple of firs or something way back there. But I tell you what, these poles right here, mm -hmm. I've never seen anything like this in the East Coast. No, I haven't either. There's a very, like... Yes. Well put together. Good point. So could we think maybe it's got to be Ontario or it's not like it's not. There's no way it's New Brunswick. It's not New Brunswick. It's not PEI. It's not Nova Scotia. I don't think it's Newfoundland. It's obviously not Quebec. Mm. It's not BC. I don't think. No, I don't think so either. I don't think it's Alberta either. Where in Ontario would you like to guess if you're thinking Ontario? If it had more. Coniferous trees, like pines and things like that, I would be happy with farther northern Ontario. But even this could be like along the North Shore of Lake Superior, um, around Blind River, or um, could be near Sudbury. Yeah, so if we go up, like there's Sudbury okay, there, yeah. Elliot Lake, Blind River's along, uh, just near Elliot Lake there if you zoom in. I think that's uh, too low for the trees? I, I do. Well, I don't know. I think it has to have, like when you get up farther north, you're going to see more coniferous trees, trees with needles instead of leaves. Right. And I don't see much of that. So I'm guessing this is like not really far, far north, but... Uh, Maybe in between? Yeah. Ish? Sure. What about Timmins? Yeah. I've never been in this area, so I don't know the yeah. topography. Like, I have no idea. Yeah, I have no idea either. Sure. Oh, okay. You were right. It was more south. Yeah. Right province. For so. the record, I did say Quebec earlier. It is very close to the Quebec border. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so that's geez, in the I, Corth I Lakes. I not, would have not have guessed that it was in this. Oh, no. It's the Rideau Lakes. Yeah. Lakeage okay. region. Yeah. Uh, right province. Yeah. That's so, actually uh, not very far from where I was when I crossed the U.S. border in my trip I had back in May. It was like literally yeah. very close to there. Gives you a, a great scheme of how... Mm -hmm. A great representation of how big Canada is. You know, we were 574 kilometers away. Yeah. And we weren't even half of the province in the distance away. <laughs> <laughs> Next round. All righty. Okay. Oh, I like this one. I like ones <clears throat> like this. I instantly have a far north feeling about this. Well, I think it's pretty obvious. I think this is a uh, reserve. Could be. Or a place that has... A large mix of indigenous, probably Inuit, uh, or well, possibly northern Cree, but I think Inuit. I'm thinking like a Calouet. Oh, really? I'm I'm thinking a Calouet. Look at the trees. Can you find any? There's some bushes. Hmm. Yeah, there's not. I mean, it's right in the city, though. But yeah, there's no trees, eh? Yeah. And you see those large buildings on the right, like large, low-slung buildings. Those are, some, you know, some of those are apartments. Well, I guess maybe they're all apartments, but it, that's pretty heavily populated. So I think it's, like, there's a chance it could be a part of Yellowknife or somewhere like that. Hmm. But it's really hard to tell, isn't it? It is hard to tell. Yeah. But I think it's definitely far northern Canada. Um, it's, it's fairly large, so I think it's too big to be... Um, you yeah. know, Pond Inlet or Pangnertung or a place like that, I pa think. Pangnertung? Pangnertung. Pa Pangnertung. Pangner Pangnertung. If it's on Baffin Island, Epic. it's one or two bays north of, of Iqaluit, but it's a very small community. Do you think this is water? I think it is. It could be the Arctic Ocean or the Davis Strait or Hudson Bay. Yeah, this could be... I wasn't sure if it was a cloud or if I was being deceived, Yeah. but to me it looks like water. Like there's a small chance this might be Churchill or Moosonee. I don't think it's Moosonee. That's in Ontario. Um, I think, yeah. I think it could be northern Manitoba. There's a chance. Like, Churchill is up like, there. Yeah, I was thinking, like, here. But uh, that actually looks even bigger than Churchill. 
Yeah, it does. To my mind. Oh, Thompson. It's it's not Thompson. 100% not Thompson. 100% not Thompson. Too so? Uh, yeah, that's actually too far north to be Thompson. Yes, yes, Thompson has trees. Yes, uh, yeah, They're yeah. a little shorter than the average, but... Uh, okay. Yeah. I don't think it's... I don't think it's Yellowknife. I, I think it's farther north than that. I think we're up into the... Really? Arctic. Yeah, I think we're in the Arctic region wow, where okay. we need to be. Um, there could be Inuvik, perhaps, although I don't think so. This is bold. This is quite bold. There's a chance it's Cambridge Bay, but I don't think Cambridge Bay is this big. This is a... This town has thousands of people in it. Uh, yeah, yeah you're definitely right. Yeah, and I, I think that really narrows things down, frankly. Um, I oh. think we're looking at a Callowit. We're looking at... Uh, Possibly Churchill, but your Callowitz over that way if you're looking to get a reference. Yeah, I'm just kind of like searching for any things that are standing out as far as bigger cities that I recognize. But yeah, your Callowitz does have lots of yeah. lots of people live there, and it's quite far north. That's it's, true. That'd be my guess, and it, I, if I'm wrong, I'm really wrong because it could still be in the north and be two thousand, yeah, three thousand miles away. <laughs> this is a really difficult one. It, it is a very, very difficult yeah. one. Okay, let's. Uh, I saw something, a lobster, something, but let's just. It's not obviously here, but let's just go. This is Dawson City. Oh no! No, no. it is a Nubik. It was one of the places Jeez. I mentioned as a possibility, but uh, I. That's terrible. I mean, if you took a picture from either place, they probably look incredibly similar. So, I, I I guarantee you they do. Yeah. Yeah. It's, but Inuvik is one of the few other places it could be, just based on population. So. So was that water? Oh yeah. That we saw. Yeah, I don't know if it was. Oh, I think so. It's 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 a huge delta. Yeah. Kind of structure there. Look at the lakes. Look, it's, it's more water than land. Yeah, really. it's incredible. Yeah, the Mackenzie's quite something. All right. Well, that was poor. I, I apologize. That's. Uh, I have a guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet you wow. do. Wow. All right. So that now we're looking. This is north. You think? Well, the compass says north. Oh, so. okay. <laughs> I thought you meant in three dimensions. Okay. Yeah. I mean this. This is one of four provinces. Yes. I don't see much there. Can't really get much out of that. There's a bit of a valley see, behind there, Yeah, it looks there, like though. there's a bit of some... Yeah, it's almost like there's a river behind it, and then some... Yeah. A hillside on the other side. Some silos. This is obviously some after harvest or too. early in the spring. Yeah, lots of silos. And some... It's like mountain, yeah. Yeah. Now, you know, if you get to northern Alberta, northern Saskatchewan, you can see that kind of terrain. Yeah, so I don't Essentially think along the border of the plains where they come into the hills here. So north of Edmonton, north of Saskatoon. I don't think it's Manitoba. I don't think it is, but if it's Manitoba, it's probably fairly south, like someplace yeah. more or less due west of Winnipeg. Ontario has places that look like this, but I don't think it's Ontario. And Quebec has some prairies that look something like that too, but I don't think this would be Quebec. This is a little too flat. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. This is tr This is tricky. So you think there's some terrain? There's terrain there, yeah. So any place that, like, you know, we need to see a place that has terrain in the distance, but it's flat where we are. So yeah, I wonder if... Like, it could be, like, around the Battlefords, uh, which is east of Edmonton. We've got North Battleford, and uh, there... Where's there's, that? There's oh. North Battleford is there. You tell me where you would go if you were playing this, and I'll tell you where I would go. Okay. And... If we're far apart, we'll meet in the middle. <laughs> I'd go about 20 miles north of Lloydminster. Where would you go? 20 miles. Say that again? 20 miles north of Lloydminster, kind okay. of right up in that area. All right. Where I would you go? I think I would probably go a little bit west of Red Deer. Okay. If you're west of Red Deer, you will see the Rocky Mountains in the distance. I, th But, like, I think they're a little bit too far away. Because if you look at Calgary, you can see the mountains from Calgary. But, like, right here... Mm -hmm. I don't know if you're seeing too, too much. Okay. You pick yours. Hold on. If we're looking... I need to go back to the map. Oops, I think I moved. If we're looking north, and we're looking west towards the mountains. Hmm. So I was picturing here, looking this way, and seeing some hills and stuff this way. There you go. 
Now, here's something else to remember about Alberta. In a lot of places, parts of Alberta, there is a grid, like one mile, one mile, one mile. True. Every mile there's a road, and the roads all go north-south, and they all go east-west. But if you look at your compass, the road itself is oriented... That's true. ...north-west, as opposed to north. So... All right. You said around here? Yeah. So, like, this little curve here, but there's no water. I don't see any water. Tangle flags. Tangle flags. Places I've never heard of before. Tangle flags. Tangle flags. I like that. Where do you <laughs> live? I live in tangle flags. <laughs> yeah. All right. Remember the time that you said there were similar areas that look like this in Quebec? I did. I did say that. I'm That's glad. not an area that I would have predicted. I would have gone, like, down here. I would have, too. Yeah. A lot of the prairies and plains in Quebec are down uh, south and east of Montreal. I mean, this is, you grew up here. Yeah. I you, like did. right here. Well, yeah, and you see Mass Gush there in the center of the screen? Yeah. We used to stop there on our way to Rodden, which is near Joliet. Uh, so I actually spent, <laughs> there's Rodden north you've, of there. You've see driven Rodden? through here. I, I've driven through there. I've been on that road. <laughs> but I never thought when I was a 12-year-old kid that I might be playing GeoGuessr someday and have to remember that. That's true. So That's true. That's terrible. Uh, this is not a good game. No. But no. this is the like we don't care if we lose. Some people take it really seriously. We don't care if we lose. We like to learn stuff. Absolutely. So, I've learned a heck of a lot already. I'm totally fine with this. Yeah. I'm glad we started with the easy country. Yeah. Yeah. You said start easy. <laughs> Next. Looks the same. Okay. As well. <laughs> now. Now here we go. See that south? No, no, when you're looking right down the road. South. South. So I'm east. East. Like these, North. these really nice West. crosses. So I'm thinking Alberta right away. What's this guy doing? Taking a poop? I think he's having a, a little personal time. Oh, personal time. <laughs> um, so you think this might be Alberta? Well, look at, look at oh, that oil look at those, rig. Look at those mountains in the background. Yeah, mountains in the background. I think if you went near, like you were looking at Red Deer earlier. I think this is south of Calgary. It could be, yeah. Did you know the Ooh. interstellar? Ooh. Simons Valley Road. Interstellar. Uh, the house that they film that in, like the, the uh, farmhouse, it wasn't really a farmhouse, but the cornfields and all that stuff. Yeah. They actually filmed that entire section of the movie, that location. It was south of Calgary. Really? Yeah. Now, why would you, why would you blur this sign out that yeah, helps us? not helping us a bit. This is definitely Alberta. 100% Alberta. 100,000%. Okay. Are you okay with a little bit south of Calgary? I am. Okay. Totally. I'm thinking like around this area, if you're okay with that. Sure. Do it. Oh, north of Calgary. But still. In the same general distance totally. from the mountains, though. Totally. So it's way over here. I didn't... Yeah, but notice the north-south, eh? yeah. the roads. It's it's a dead giveaway for Alberta. Dead giveaway. Dead giveaway. You summary. Wow. Well, that's, okay. <laughs> that's not great. It is what it is. Our Ontario mist doesn't look nearly as bad now, though, as it did when we it's, first made I know, it. Oh, right? <laughs> <laughs> this one is, this one up top is that's horrible. pretty bad. Horrible. And I apologize to the people of Iqaluit and to the people of Inuvik because we clearly... I mean, we've never been there, so like... No. Do we apologize? Like, it's a Canadian thing to do, but... Well, we look at the north of Canada and not have a lot of knowledge of it. A lot like the Americans look at all of Canada and not have a lot of knowledge. Burn, but true. And uh, I think to the extent that we... Like, I don't get offended when Americans don't know much about Canada. I'm disappointed, but I'm not offended. Right. I can imagine that people who live in northern Canada would be disappointed that two dudes from Fredericton... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Wouldn't know much about their area, so. Yeah. But so far off is to be, that's like that's horrifyingly bad. But if you were to look at cityscapes of both the Nuvik and the Callaway, you'd be hard pressed to really make a big distinction between them. The only thing I might add about the Callaway that I didn't think of before is there's more hills around it than than, and I should have expected to see more hills around it, mm -hmm. and I didn't, and I didn't, it didn't trigger with me. Uh, my brother has flown in and out of a Callaway, and uh, it's it's treacherous to fly into because of those hills. Mm. So I, I shouldn't I should have remembered that. I did not know that. I didn't. I wouldn't expect there to be a lot of mm. that uh, around there. Yeah. All right. Well, that wraps it up, guys. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. If you enjoyed these videos, let us know down below. 
and let us know. Obviously, we're not going to see your comments by the time this video goes out, but it doesn't mean that we can't do this again in the future because now it's a little bit easier to travel because of the restrictions and stuff. So if you want to see us do any specific maps, any specific areas of the world, mm -hmm. let us know down below in the comment section. I'll write them down. I'll store them and then we can do them in the future. So we'd love to hear from you. And how did you do in this map? You know, you can't technically play along, but uh, how do you think you did? Did you do better than us? Love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. We're doing the USA next. So if you want to see that, right subscribe. On. Notifications on. We'll see you then. Adios. Thank <laughs> you.